another movie starring Wonder Woman, I'll take it. You're telling me that there's a chance that Gal Gadot could star in another Wonder Woman movie? Oh, let's give it to me. She's uh, still in fine shape, as far as I'm concerned, to continue to do, you know, she's got a couple more years left in her. Let's get, let's get it. I'll take another Wonder Woman movie. She's a, you know, Gal Gadot, great casting. Love to see her. I really enjoy Wonder Woman in just about all her appearance, except for that really terrible Wonder Woman 84. But, I mean, she wasn't bad in it. She's a little great. She's got a little handsy with a guy she should have got handsy with, but that's not entirely her fault. I'm going to blame her, the director and the writer, Patty Jenkins, on that. But Gal Gadot, she's out and about for some reason, telling people they're going to develop it together. This is coming straight out of Gal Gadot's mouth. Wonder Woman 3, what I heard from James Gunn and Peter Safran is that we're going to develop it together and i did really you know hey she showed up in the flash and that was cool i like her showing up in the flash i liked her showing up at shazam i saw that too and that was cool bring him bring her back at as many times as you can it's a great it's a, a great thing to see she says i love portraying wonder woman when she was asked about the third movie, it's so close to and dear to my heart. And from what I heard from James Gunn and Peter is that we're going to develop a Wonder Woman 3 together. Sounds good to me. As long as it's better, than, it's got to be better than Wonder Woman 84. It's got to be. And this is where it's kind of interesting. If you go back in the way back machine, last December in 2022, Patty Jenkins, she broke her silence on Wonder Woman 3. She says, there's nothing I can do to move it forward. Basically, Wonder Woman 84 was so bad. Think about it. If you guys saw it, you got you to let me know. Because I saw it, and I was pretty sure that she fought a dude who had the power of a wishing stone. And then she defeated those wishes by the power of love. It's pretty, pretty terrible. But she, Patty Jenkins, the director and writer of Wonder Woman 84, she goes, there started to be backlash. She said there was a lot of uh, clickbait false stories that said that she walked away from it or, or, or she killed it. She says, uh, it's her understanding that there's nothing she could do moving forward. She, basically, long story short, and she just kind of keeps talking about this, but... She said she made a pitch, and they didn't like it. Um, she has this whole entire thing that she put out on, on Twitter, now X at the time. And uh, where did she say it? She says she never walked away. She pitched something, and they weren't going to go for it. There was no changes. I think they asked her. They didn't even ask her if she wanted to make changes. They were just like, nah, not interested in it. And then Rogue Squadron also... They asked her not to work on that. She claims it's an active development. That movie is never coming out. Just not going to happen. So, I, maybe they do Wonder Woman. And they, I mean, I couldn't imagine them recasting her. I mean, I could. They did it to Henry Cavill. But it seems like she's still on the upside here. Gal Gadot still might do it. I'm interested. I'd like to see it. I'll watch it. You know, every time she's on screen, I'm like, yeah, this is pretty good. Get her a, you know, better villain, except instead of Cheetah. Not a great, not a great villain. <laughs> also, Ares, not, not that great of a villain. She's got to have a good villain. There's got to be one. Tell me in the comments below who would make a good Wonder Woman villain. I, I I can't think of one off the top of my head. Uh, she's got to have, or maybe a better cheetah. Like, I don't know. I feel like I've seen an animated one where she had a pretty good cheetah. So I just wanted to talk about it because I was excited. I think it's good news. I like the connection to the cat. I think the best part of the Snyderverse, whether or not you like some of those movies or not, was the casting. I think most of the casting, with the exception of Ezra Miller, was really good. Really like Henry. I think we can all agree. Henry Cavill was great. Great look for Superman. Great actor. I like Aquaman. Think uh, Jason Momo. It makes a. It was a great 
kind of twist on the Aquaman story. I like the look of him. He looks great. He's fun. I don't know that Aquaman's going to be great, but I, I dig what he does. Gal Gadot, fantastic as Wonder Woman. think that's great casting. I thought Cyborg, that poor guy, I thought he was a great bit of casting. A little moody, but all of it, real good. So, Keepers, Wonder Woman. Let's get, let's get one more. Give her a trilogy. Give her a proper send-off, because 1984 was not a proper send-off. I do not need to ever see that movie ever again. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I would love it if you came and hung out with us. We have a, uh, a, a podcast you can catch right here. It's a lot of fun. We live stream it Friday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can also catch the repeats here on YouTube. You can also catch it by ears. You can put it in your earbuds. Check it out. It's on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, those places and more. But as for myself, I am on to the next one. Ah.